Brian Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's get a Tom in Pittsburgh. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, Tom, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, listening to you, Steve, and also Larry turned my laptop into a money machine. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> How long have you been listening? Well, you know what? I lived in Tampa. Okay. And I started listening to you back in uh, 2000. That's when I first found you. I've yep. ever since. That's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, man, we really appreciate you being out there. And now, here's Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go two hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Learn to ask questions. It is always better to ask questions than to make an assumption. Have the courage to ask questions until you're as clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make the assumption. Why? Because you'll know the truth. Bottom line, folks, get rid of the grayness. Keep it black and white. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow down 40, NASDAQ up 15, S&P's flat. Gold contract down, down 1250, trading at 1,670 an ounce. Silver. Down 94 cents at $31.84. Platinum down 20 bucks at 1,530 an ounce. Copper off six pennies at 3.33 a pound. Light sweet crude down a buck 12 at $84.45. Bonds up 26 ticks at 136.12. Dollar index down two ticks at 77.25. Yen down 41, trading out at 76.85. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? And the world of the S and P's. Let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get down to uh, eleven ninety. Really get a sideways move out here. No, well, you, you come back with nine hundred million versus one point uh, one billion. Uh, bottom line is that couldn't make it over the highs yesterday. No conviction on the way down. What does that add up to? That adds up to yeah, it's gonna. Try to jam into this uh, 12, again, 1209 is game once again. We're at 1203 right now. You get the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. What you have with the Dow, same setup in the Dow. What the Dow does, Dow backs down, rejects lower price. You're still under the swing point. Composite, NASDAQ composite. We're going to get over there. Why? Because Google just came out with numbers. What the composite does, she is up 15 points. She does 1.6 billion versus 1.9 of yesterday versus she's going at the 4 billion shares. Now, this is where it's going to get really wild, folks, and this is why. So check this out. Google just came out with numbers. Google closed at 588. Google's trading at 591. Sounds like a big deal. It's not a bad deal. There's no doubt about that. That, however, is not moving the NDX 100. And, of course, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a decent weighting inside the NDX 100. It's up 33 bucks. Let's go over first to Google. So we take a look at Google. Numbers on Google go like this. Google is a monster, no doubt. Okay, so this is what we have. The estimate was uh, 8.7 billion. They took in 9.72 billion. Uh, that's the uh, top line. The uh, bottom line, let's see there. Okay, pay per clicks rose 28% versus a year ago. Their revenue um, X items came to 7.51 billion. The estimate was 7.21 billion. Bottom line, they get some bread coming in there. Uh, right now, Google is a trade. We, we closed at 558. She's trading out at 591. What does 591 do for a 591? It's going to get her right into. Um, well, she had gapped away what Google had done on 714. She had she was at 526. She gaps up to 600. Went as high as 627, then gave it up uh, to 490. She's uh, she's right back into that same area. So we'll see if she get any juice into that area. We take a look at the bonds. Let's go over and take a look at the bond market. What we have with bonds is well here. No, we'll go to the spies first. We take a look at the SPY. What the spy does out here today. SPY goes sideways, really down 24 cents. 
do a 210 million shares. The 210 million is coming into 209. We made a high yesterday out there with uh, 281. The IWM, which is the small caps, was sm what the small caps did. If we use the I shares inside inside the small caps, um, this is what we did with the the small caps. Small caps out here. They let's see what she did. She backed down. She backed down with uh, 60. 53 uh, million shares. Uh, she was backing into uh, 63 million shares. What is that saying? That, yeah, she can go try to test the highs of yesterday. I, I don't expect she's going to basically get any juice going into those highs. We go take a look at the diamonds. So we, the diamonds inside the Dow, what you have inside the Dow, bottom line, she's just a slow roll. Uh, she's da down 5.5 million shares. She's going into 7 million shares. Uh, this, the, the, the actual... Um, Diamonds are really interesting, and this is why, folks. The diamonds actually, if in fact you just get a little bit lower tomorrow, that is actually a tri-star doji. And the way a tri-star doji works, okay, that's pretty intense, meaning uh, that is a signal that it wants to back down in a big way. Um, what is so intriguing about that is that the Dow Industrials, that Dow number, is always... Uh, well, yesterday it was so big, you know, it backed down today, but percentage-wise it wasn't big. But, you know, when you're up 200 bucks, you pull back 100, that, that's, that's a high, it's a high number that gets pushed out to the public. Let's put it that way. Uh, Google's going to be the one to watch like a, a wild. Uh, you know, it's going to be, by the time we get off in another hour and a half, I suspect we've already been up to almost 600, 599. We're 587 right now. Don't be surprised if it's right back at the 568, 558 area. Uh, that's how Google loves to trade. Um, the volatility on Google is just absolutely amazing. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Some of the uh, high volume stocks we had out here today. You had JP Morgan. Uh, Chase was down a buck 60. Citigroup was off a buck 56. You had the Bank of America down 36. We had uh, Triquen Semiconductor was up a dollar forty-six. That's a big move out there. Holy cow! Look at that move. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's one beautiful move, no doubt about it. Um, that uh, she came up. Look at this. She came up with uh, twenty-one million shares. She's going into twenty-six million, but she, she's got some. She's got some action there. No two. No two ways about it. We take a look at some of the Dow stocks out here. What you had with the Dow stocks? We had Big Blue is up seventy cents. You had Honeywell down 60 cents. 3M was off 56. Uh, let's go take a look at that J.P. Morgan Chase. J.P.M. Uh, what we had with J.P. Morgan, they come out with numbers this morning. Now, what you have is this. Uh, J.P. Morgan not only come out with the numbers, but coming out with the numbers, uh, she was down 77 million shares. She's going into 53 million. What that's setting up is that she's going to make her way back down to this uh, 30 dollars and 43 cents now how we hit folks in the financials the top of october 4th is is a big deal the reason it's a big deal is this is that when we came down there we rejected the august 8th levels okay this is on this is in the uh, s and p's not in the not in the financials financials are way below that but if the in fact if the financials crack that august uh, that October 4th time frame, that's going to be big, big problems. Uh, if we go over and we take a look at the XLF, the, the XLF out here, uh, which she did today, she backed down with 110 million shares. We are at 12.45. What's game out here is 11.27. How she comes into 11.27 is going to say it all. Um, under, once you get under... 1204, that's going to be problematic in a big way also. We go look at Bank of America, BAC. What we have with BAC out here, uh, she can't get any juice going. She's trading out there at 622. That 622 is under the August 8th levels. That's saying that she's going to make her way back to this uh, 576 area. We'll see whether she can get any juice coming into that 576 area. And uh, Google's back up to 591. She's going to be up, down, and all over the place. There's no doubt about it. Uh, the, you know, when you, when you take a look at uh, <laughs> what you have uh, with Google, though, she is a monster, no doubt, no doubt about it. Let's go to Kuma in Massachusetts. Hey, Kuma, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah. 
a cool. little bit drizzly, but is this a good day for all? Yeah. Yeah, perfect, man. What are we going to look uh, at? Yes, I'm just looking at the TZA, the inverse of uh, IWM. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking it's uh, kind of uh, uh, looking at the entry point today. Okay. Uh, what's your opinion on this? Let's take a look at it. You get the TZA. The TZA, folks, is the uh, direction 300% inverse correlation of the small cap index. The lows 30, the highs 72. Anything, folks, that you'd like to understand about these direction shares, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see right under ETF, three white papers. Read them. Great explanation. They compound on the way up. They get defensive on the way down. They're daily investment vehicles. Okay, so if we go over to the IWM first, we just look at the IWM. Um, IWM right now, what you had is this. Yesterday, it got up to the swing point, failed the swing point. Today, what you had, sideways move, light volume. You know, right now, we already own the TZA. I do, okay? Um, you can turn around, okay, wait for another retest of yesterday's high again, because that's the way it looks like this baby wants to set up right now. It, the, entry okay. right, the entry right here is a good entry. The reason being is that your risk-reward is in place in a big way, meaning that you, you give it hardly anything to breathe. You know, you're, okay. just, you're just putting your, your stop on the other side of the swing point. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Cooking, brother. That's good. Let's Thank go you. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go to Nathan in Washington. Hey, Nathan, what's going on? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good, man. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. Hey, it was, uh, I heard about that uh, Nuance uh, company from Ken Shreve the other day, so I was kind of looking at it. I was noticing it was getting up to that uh, high-volume high back in May. Yeah. And today, got up there, came off, so I put a uh, November 11th uh, $42 put purchased a put on that, uh, thinking it was going to come back down, then it went back up, it retested it again later in the day. Where do you think that stock's going? Because on a weekly, it looks like it's had some accumulation. No, you don't want to be shot the stock, man. Yeah. Did you, you, you bought a put? Yeah, I bought a put. Now, this is an ABC up. Here, let me, let me show you something, Nathan. Okay, this is Nuance, folks. N-U-A-N, -N, okay? Uh, they, they, they're into the speech uh, technology business. The lows 14, the highs 23. Okay, you, you see when this when this thing went topside on the 26th of, uh, I mean the uh, 6th of October, that took out the B point with volume. That took out 2138. This can be... the lows in August to the highs in September, is that what you're looking at there? That's correct. Okay. Yeah, I mean that blew it away with volume. That's an ABC up. Let's, you know, get... Oh. Close that position, man. I was looking at that, that high volume high back in May, and then it got nowhere close to that volume bar today when it took up that uh, high back in May. So I'm with you. I, I understand what you're saying. You know, yeah. uh, you, you know, it, and you know, you, you're already over that level. Okay, so the right. the ABC when you take a B point out in volume, the probability goes up. You're going to finish that ABC first. We'll be right, right. back, folks.